Okay, I got some more done to the V26. I uh, got the uh, fuselage closed up. Uh, I have got the, a lot of the windows uh, masked off. I uh, made a couple of changes. If you'll notice, the Bombay doors are closed. I decided uh, not to have them open and do the the bomb section. Uh, just personal choice you know it's going to be uh, on display i'm going to do a lot of weathering and stuff to it so i really didn't want to have have the bombs open and everything because chances are when it was on on display it wouldn't have had that open anyway and i closed up the the gunners uh doors here on the back <clears throat> which all that'll get sanded and smoothed out uh i was trying to put the guns in here and they were just too fiddly. I mean, I've already broken off one. I have the machine gun that goes on the front here. Come on. The machine gun that goes on the front right there. That's a that little black speck you see right there. <laughs> I was moving stuff around. So what the hell is this? And I picked it up and, and I realized I'd snapped the gun off. And that was that was when I was still working on the interior stuff. Um, I've got the top gun is glued into position it gives you two pegs on this side and two pegs on that side and they want you to sandwich this thing in between well that's all and good if it worked um, i had them sitting on the pegs and when i would close up the fuselage and hold it together and i would go to shift this around it'd fall down inside now i could have put plastic you know a couple of pieces of plastic in there to, to uh, help it <clears throat> but i just decided to you know it's it's not like I say it's going to be you know like in a museum i'd like to do most of my aircraft and stuff i like and my aircraft and armor and stuff like that i like to do it like uh, it's been restored and going into the museum yeah and i'm not a real big uh, fan of beating something half to death uh making it look real weathered and everything and dioramas and stuff i mean i like the looks of dioramas but i I'm just not a big diorama fan, but anyway, uh, and there's nothing wrong with dioramas, like I say, I, I love them, uh, but I decided that, uh, you know, I have the guns point forward and just glue this into place. The, uh, the canopy or the, uh, turret cover will still fit down over that, so I'll get it masked up, and, uh, when I get ready to paint everything, I'll get it, uh, I got to detail paint this, and then I'll close it up. And then when I spray everything, <clears throat> then it will be uh, painted as well. Uh, in the back section here, um, got to put the the uh, gunner's turret here and the canopy that goes on there, which is this. And I've been masking, doing some masking. Yeah, I've got to straighten up a lot of this. Uh, the, the masks that it called to go on this section w was short. As you can see, I got to go in. All this requires um, liquid mask anyway, so I'll just mask it all the way down to the to the bottom of the tape. And uh, it's not the best masking job, you know, but uh, it'll do. And same way with the main canopy. Um, I've had to go, you know, it's like I say, it's not the best that uh, not the best I could do, but uh, I was having difficulty. Uh, getting the masks to go where I wanted them, you know, I I just wasn't having a a good day. I shouldn't have been doing this when I should have been done it when I was a little more calm. But 
the uh, canopy masks, as you can see, this is what I've used of canopy masks already. If it wasn't for these, which are the, the instructions for the, this way, it's the instructions for the masking. It tells you this mask is here, you know, that mask is there, you know. I would have never been able to, to find these because, you know, when you hold them up to the light like this, well, you can see some of them, you know, like these, you can see them cut. But the rest of them, I even took a pencil, you know, do like try to do the old sketch method, cross the penny type deal to uh, highlight the corners. And yeah, as you can see, they're not there. <laughs> but there's, there is masks all in here and they are virtually invisible. All across the top here, you can, you can barely make them out. But if it wasn't for, for this, this instruction or this map setup, uh, just like this, I've never been able to, to do it. Uh, now these masks, uh, let's see, this one and this one called for the, uh, the long tip canopy that goes on there. Uh, cause I was thinking about putting it on, but then, and these are the ones that it called for the canopy that, uh, that I messed up and I think they got it backwards uh, in the instructions uh, these these should have been the ones that I'm using now but anyway uh, and then again you know like say see so you can see the wheel masks but then when you get to these others yeah well these are actually a little bit better if you get them in the right light but uh, I wouldn't have been able to to put these masks on they just like say <laughs> damn near invisible to me um, and this one here needs a uh, I got to go in and put liquid mask on it. So, but I've done, uh, come on focus. I've done a lot of the, the, uh, work. I've got to go back in and do just a little bit of putty work and then it'll be ready for priming. And it'll show me, I'm going to prime it white and then I'll probably, uh, hit it with a uh, flat black before I do my paint job. Because my paint job is going to be, it's going to be, um, uh, I can't remember, I think it's its going to be a, a, like a light to medium gray on the bottom. And I had the color picked out, I uh, can't remember, it, light, light ghost gray or dark ghost gray, one of the two, I can't remember. Um, but I'll get it, I'll get it right eventually. But uh, it's going to be, you know, like I say, light to medium gray on the bottom. And then on the top, it's going to be all of drab. But I'm going to do variations in the paint and um, weather panels and stuff. And then uh, then after I get all the decals on it, then I'm going to come back in and, and do a lot more uh, heavy weathering and, and paint chipping and stuff like that on it. But there's what the cockpit looks like. i got to go back in and touch that up. Um, the seat was over too far and wouldn't let the canopy go on, so I had to snap that off And I, when I was putting the seat back in. I guess my tweezers kind of picked the paint off of it, which that, that won't be a big deal. But uh, uh, I've got the engine cowling. I've got the, the uh, air scoops on those. Uh, nothing else is done to the, to the wings. The, uh, the engine nacelles the are just sitting on there. I do have some of these parts. I've been working on some of these, like I've got the prop spinners painted. And I'm going to go back in with a with another coat on those. Um, when I say I use dull aluminum on these, but I've got to go back in and I'm going to hit them with uh, uh, regular aluminum to give it a little bit brighter look. Uh, I've got the engines done with all I'm going to do to them. Um... Uh, it called for steel on these wheels, and that's the steel color I've got. And so I'm going to go back in and um, do the do some dry brushing of aluminum on it to bring it up a little bit. Um, here is my top turret, and now I've got to paint the guns. And then I've got, uh, let me see, let me show this one. Got landing gear. Start working on the landing gear. Got these struts here painted uh, steel, and then this gets uh, supposed to be anthracite gray, but uh, I don't have anthracite gray, so I'll mix up a uh, dark gray uh, metallic. 
actually I, I do have a dark gray metallic I think but um, I'll mix that up and and get that painted I do, do all the landing gear that way I'm not going to do the brake lines and all that stuff that's I'm, I don't super detail much of anything I like to do you know mainly out, out of the box builds and stuff so um, these are I think the front landing gear doors I've got to go in and hit these with uh, zinc chromate and then weather those uh, put the black wash on them and I've got some other parts of the box in the floor over here uh, so that's it uh, I'm going to take a this is where I'm going to leave it uh, for just a little bit I'm going to take a break from working on this and get back on my Franklin uh, I'm in a buddy build with the Franklin and it seems like my buddies are leaving me in the dust <laughs> so I actually I want to get back to working on it anyway uh, so I'm going to alternate between the Franklin and this I'll you know I'm going to work on the Franklin for a little while maybe about a week or so and then and then get back on this uh, I'll get them done but anyway thanks for watching guys